Hello today, YouTube. I'm I'm actually here to show a new part of my channel that I'm going to be doing. Uh, there are going to be a few parts of my channel that I'm going to do, and sometimes there may be anime. Once I get animation and a better mic, because, my God, I sound like a weirdo on this site. My mom already says that the last video wasn't so good. Anyway, the, the few things that I'm going to be doing here is an, anime reviews. I, I have just a taco thing for that. Um, video game reviews. Uh, brony news, because yes, I am a brony. Brony, yeah, yeah you, you can guess it, I guess. Um, what else is there? Uh, there's like th a few other things. And, of course, animations, if I can do that. And, um, I guess, uh, trying to work on looking at the camera for once. Um, Pokemon news and Let's Play news as well. And if I can get a Let's Play channel, I'll also do that as well. So that's like, so, uh, nine things I'm doing. I can't count, guys. <laughs> Um, anyway, what I, the, for, for today's first episode, I'm going to be looking at, uh, at an anime called Rezel Mine. Rezel Mine, I think. Again, I don't have fancy animations, or I can't upload the actual anime to you, so you can just listen to it. I know you guys are probably hating me for that right now. Um, uh, sorry, I'm a bit, I have a bit of flu. Well, not flu, but I'm kind of sick. Anyway, the, the synopsis of the story, it's... It's basically this guy who who has a huge crush on his teacher. His name's uh, his name's uh, Imaki. Imaki. Now I'm looking at my notes, by the way. Yes, I am bad. I'm sorry. Um. Uh. Basically, he finds out that his teachers are getting married, but he's had the crush on her for the longest time. When he gets home, however, he finds something very uniquely odd about about it. Um, he finds this girl called Rizel, and she it says that she is his wife now. However, she's much younger than him, being like a little kid. Uh, she's also has these three pe uh, three adult men who call themselves their father, and and so he of course is Iwaki is kind of like confused. What the hell's going on here? And and of course they they sort of explain. However, this is an anime where they do not explain very much about about it. they give out in bits because well first off I don't I guess they're, they're uncreative or they just they just want to keep us on our feet, you know. Uh what they what they're doing is that uh is that they say she's in a biologically created life form and that they must not create make her cry. If she cries her tears become somewhat like nitroglycerin and they can explode. Um also also he gets very wigged out by all this and says that he, he like he's very much an older woman women. Uh, and he's not very happy about this, but he has to keep her happy or else she's gonna blow themselves up. <laughs> blow everybody up. Huh. Um, uh, he... So, most of the anime goes about her trying to make herself the best wife for, for Awa, Awaku. Awaki. Uh, I'm gonna call him Awaku. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, so, a lot of different kinds of adventures have like she's going to go to school, most of this has to deal with her impressing her, how she's trying to feel, fit in as a good wife and all that. Uh, she's kind of a nice character. She sounds like an actual kid. Awakuni is like basically anyone who, uh, anyone in our position would be like, be like, he's but like, why are am I supposed to be married to this this girl who's who's much younger than me and is like so kiddish? I mean. I know this is Japan, but still, pedophilia is bad. Uh, um, sorry, I'm messing around with my hair. Uh, he of course, uh, she of course somehow gets into a school, school, and they, and she, and the teacher says it's because she's she's got gone up several grades for being a prodigy, kind of similar to Azumanga Daiho in a way that way that she's already a school prodigy. Uh. Uh, uh, interesting note on this one, uh, um, he, it, it's created by a place called Moe, Moe, which is irony because that's what the show is about, it's a Moe service show, show, I, it's that, the E stands for entertainment, but I can't remember what it was, I gotta write these things down, down, uh, she, uh, massive over entertainment, I guess, manga exclusive Negama toys, <laughs> um, 
Uh, the, the, the teacher's name is Natsumi. It's kind of interesting. He has these little fa visions about trying to date her and everything. And he's very... He envisions her being in a wedding dress, of course. <laughs> he's, a, he's a stereotypical kid. Uh, oh, yeah. In, uh, on my last note, uh, I have to say... Say before I say how, how I view this sh anime... Now, in episode 4, uh, one of the music tracks sounds suspiciously like Bowser's airship theme, and also, they, as a little interesting note, uh, if you remember the, po the, kid, the toddlers from Pokemon Black and White, right, they, uh, the uniforms on these little kids in episode 4 also have, uh, also looked like that as well, so it's a very common theme in Japan. Yeah, it's pretty good. As for the anime as a whole, I haven't watched all of it yet. There's a lot still that... There's a lot on YouTube. You just gotta keep searching for it. Sorry if I'm rocking. Sorry for potty rocking. <laughs> yeah. Oh, how I feel good. So I did. Uh, uh, do not look at the, the over there. Uh, 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 this is what I get for recording when my dad's. Uh, sorry, that's my dad. Uh, anyway. Anyway. Uh, um. Uh, as a whole, it's a good anime. It's uh, as long as you don't like Mo if you're okay with Moe and all that, you ignore all the child pedophilia. Well, it, there's not a lot of that. That uh, they just try and dress her sexy for some reason. Reason? Uh, sorry, I'm still getting over this. Hey guys. <laughs> um, so it's it's somewhat good. If you're looking for craziness and uh, a lot of good stuff, uh, check check it out. This is the greatest otaku to ever live, signing off.